so hi everyone in this video we will learn that how to roll back and patch from the oracle database okay so you can see on the screen that we can use this command which is called as dollar oracle dot underscore home then o patch o patch roll back then mention the id okay <clears throat> so you can see on the screen that in this way we can roll back using this command so when we trigger this command the following content will shown up on the screen okay so this is basically the command output you can see that there are patch id which is mentioned there 3477 okay so in the final it will ask for is the local system ready for patching okay so we need to give user input as y so rolling back the patch id which is a uh, 34 double seven one eight will be shown on the screen and it will start to roll back that patch okay so it will roll back each component one by one so you can see on the screen it is working right now so one by one every component the changes which happens happened in the past will be rolled back will be deleted so likewise you can see on the screen that one by one like oracle dot rdms nineteen double zero. so this is what it will show so one by one the all changes from the database will be erased so before doing this we need to shut down the database as well as the listener okay so make sure to shut down both so when the rollback has been completed you can start the database you can run the invalid uh, a recompilation script using the utlrb.sql script and after that you can use the oracle database as usual so uh, the rollback command will use for if the patch which we applied in the past is uh, having some issue or uh, we don't want to have a patch that from the manager side okay so in that case you can roll back the patch using the rollback command so patch is the utility which is available in the oracle database so you can basically apply the patch you can roll back the patch okay so we need to wait some more time so it will take some time to remove all the changes so before doing the patch we does the practice like uh, we take the arman backup arman full backup of the database or say we can create a restore point before the patch okay <clears throat> and after the patch if something happens okay the database becomes corrupted the data files corrupt so in that case you can uh, backup the database using those arman backups files okay or restore point you can make the database work in the previous version okay so after doing the rollback we can use the database in the in its past version okay so for example we had applied the patch patch of 19.16 version okay so now if we roll or we are rolling back it so it will um, it will be to the previous state right so before patching the database was in the 19.3 version okay so this is how we can do it so one by one each component will be rolled back so likewise this will happen so the basic idea is how to roll back uh, the basic idea is how to roll back the oracle patch okay so in this video the only sole purpose is showing that how we can roll back the database patching okay so one by one each component will be rolled back to its previous state okay so it's up right now so you can see on the screen that uh, rollback session removing interim patch and there is a patch id inside the single quotes okay 3477 
from the inventory okay so first it will remove the patch history from the inventory so it it has been done right so you can see on the screen that we uh, have successfully rolled back the oracle patch okay so you can see at the last op has succeeded okay if you want to query you can query from this log file okay so hope guys this will be helpful for you thank you for watching this video